Hello, this is Matthew with Technomicon Media, and this week, patch 1.2, the legacy patch for Star Wars The Old Republic just went live. So I thought I'd share with you guys a lot of the cool features from the legacy system. So I'm starting with uh, what I have leveled up, which is the, uh, the Sith slash Imperial uh, UI tab for all the different classes for the legacy system. Uh, what this panel shows is all the companions that you've unlocked as well as the abilities for each class that you've unlocked. So you, you gain an emote ability at the lowest level, a, a buff ability which is actually really awesome, and then of course the um, heroic moment uh, usable ability for each class. Uh, the way it works with companions is as they're unlocked you gain 10 presents and then a, a bonus that is actually usable uh, regardless of whether you have your companion out or not. So one companion type will give you increased health, another will give you critical strike and so on and so forth. And then these abilities carry over now to all of your characters. So for each companion you'd gain a cumulative 10 presents as well as these other abilities which is pretty awesome and it, and it makes new character development a breeze. I, I tried it out and it works great. So with uh, self buffing each class gets their own unique specific buff but with the legacy system for each unlock these buffs are, are carried over now so using my Sith Warrior buff now provides the uh, Sith Inquisitor buff as well as the Imperial Agent which is great. And uh, in addition to those companion and class related uh, legacy features are a lot of new ship features with the legacy system. Uh, the first one I'm showing is the uh, training dummies and uh, there's actually two different training dummies you can buy. There's uh, one that simulates an ops level raid boss and then there's another one that simulates a PvP kind of player that you can test out certain things with. Uh, the, the PvP one was a little expensive so I passed on it. What I'm showing here is a, is a repair bot that you can unlock through Legacy and he sells sensor units which you can attach to your uh, your companion droid which provides uh, crew skill functionality in terms of you know various class uh, profession you know critical bonuses and whatnot. I just wanted to quickly uh, talk about the the legacy system in terms of uh, what level legacies you see you need to be able to unlock everything and the way it's set up is there's a, a legacy system this is the tab right here and then there's also some valor stuff and some social unlocks but the um, the max level legacy that you're going to need to be able to unlock everything that, that the legacy system currently has, and there's actually some more coming out uh, with patch 1.3, is, is, is legacy level 25, which is actually pretty manageable. And the last ship unlock I wanted to show you guys is the uh, mailbox. Uh, that's a you know very cool feature. I'll be using that quite a bit. Uh, you can see that here. It's uh, right by your bridge. And, you know, one thing about these ship unlocks is, you know, none of them are, are really game-breaking or game-changing. They're, they're, they're convenient and they're fun and they add a lot of uh, functionality to the ship. There is also a Galactic Trade Network uh, option and upgrade, but uh, at 5 million credits I'll be uh, showing that to you guys later. <laughs> So uh, for the final thing I wanted to show you guys is just how the uh, legacy family system works. Uh, the, the trick is you need to log into each character and, and unlock the legacy tab by, by selecting the, the character's icon and putting them into the UI uh, before you can, you can access multiple characters. So as you can see I've set up a, a genealogy and uh, the way it works is you just kinda you know fit them in as you want and you can set them up to be siblings or you know parents or you know rivals friends allies you name it or they could be parents of of the people that are kind of at the top of your tree and uh, it's pretty cool it's it's very very interesting to see where this goes down the road currently uh, it's it's pretty straightforward. You just set the people up as you want them, and it's and it's more just for the RP value of how you want to establish the the genealogy of your your legacy system. And once again, this is Matthew for Technomicon Media. Check uh, with the site www.technomicon.com. I'll be posting a lot of articles related to um, Patch 1.2. Uh, in-depth crew skills update guide as well as a uh, legacy in-depth guide and then also of course uh, you know an overview of 1.2 and thanks for watching